Good afternoon, everyone. This is Sara, our Canadian Center of Clinical Pharmacy. So when it comes to DNC procedure and hemorrhage prevention, you have some uh, medication options. So I want to go over these medications options uh, with you, especially uh, for DNC procedure and hemorrhagic uh, situations prevention. Uh, one of the drugs is oxytocin or pitocin, uh, which is used for postpartum uterine bleeding prevention. Uh, it comes in IM and IV format. The next medication is misoprostol or cytotec, uh, which again is for postpartum hemorrhage uh, prevention and treatment. Um, it can be used as a monotherapy or adjunctive to oxytocin or pitocin. There's a different dosing for prevention, for uh, which um, includes buccal and sublingual versions of the medication and oral options, as well as the treatment, which is oral or rectal options available. Then there is the tranexamic acid, which is used for postpartum hemorrhage prevention and treatment. Uh, prevention IV dosing of a one gram over 10 to 20 minutes and treatment IV for one gram over 10 to 20 minutes given within three hours of the vaginal birth. Uh, then we have the hemabate, which is carboprost. Hemabate, um, uh, it could be used for refractory postpartum uterine bleeding. Uh, I am dosing uh, for this hemabate uh, medication is 250 microgram. Um, and lastly, we have metergine or methyl ergonovin, uh, which is for refractory postpartum uterine bleeding uh, it comes in an oral im and iv dosing options again i just want to go over the uh, dnc procedure the, um, and hemorrhagic uh, situations prevention options and medications uh, that are, are available which include oxytocin which is pitocin uh, misoprostol or cytotec tranexamic acid hemobate carboprost and metergin or methyl ergonomy for more detailed information on these medications, make sure to comment on the video, uh, like the video, and, and um, ask your questions, especially on the dosing, and I'll be happy to um, give you more information in details about the dosing of any of these medications. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, stay safe and take care of medications.